up until a year ago, Abbey Precision Limited were unable to run their machine shop unmanned. Today, the story is very different, thanks to the installation of two Matsura MX330s. Steve, give me a little bit of detail about Abbey Precision as a company. Uh, Abbey Precision has been on this site since 1996 and was set up as a jobbing shop really for the Formula One industry that's in this area. Abbey Precision traditionally has done basically Formula One work but it's had to expand its horizons and take on other work uh, and our main customers now are military, automotive and the Formula One industries as well as some scientific work that we do. Uh, in order to remain competitive and get into some of these sectors this is where the two Matsura machines that you've purchased come in. What were your expectations from these MX330, Steve? Well, um, Abbey has traditionally been a one-man, one-machine kind of business. And over the past five years or so, we've been trying to move from that model to a more modern way of looking at jobs and work. And the automation aspects of the Matsuras is absolutely essential to moving a business like this forward, uh, unattended operation, more accurate and repetitive cycles without operators to be constantly attending machines is really, really important. And, and you didn't go half measures, did you? Because you, when, when you invested, you bought two of them. Uh, that's right, that's right. We we've made a lot of investment in the business recently. Certainly in the past couple of years, we've invested uh, one and a half million pounds into plant here. Uh, and the main element of that investment has been uh, these, uh, these two Matsura machines and also into our inspection department. We love these machines, the 10 pallets on each machine really helps. We can leave the machines running overnight. We have our skilled operators and setters and also our programmers making the programs, proving them out and then running them, sometimes in quite large batches. Was, was the biggest attraction that unmanned run with these machines? That and the good reputation of Matsura and also the service we've received from them has been excellent. Uh, they've kept us informed uh, all the way through the ordering process. They're the first Matsuo machines we purchased uh, and we would certainly not, not have any concerns about buying more machines if the need arose. How much of an impact has the automation made to you here as a company? We've had these machines running now for a year. We were hoping to get some payback on our investment within, within a year and we got a lot of payback within a few months. They were quick and easy to get going. The training was excellent. Uh, we have uh, very robust posts through our CAD CAM solutions and the transition from our other five axis machines here to these machines has been pretty easy. Would you say that it's fair to um, suggest that you, these machines are probably twice as efficient if not more than some of your other machines as a result of being able to keep that spindle going all the time and any of your manual intervention your handling is done outside of the machining area yeah it certainly is a help when you've got reasonable batch sizes uh, you load the pallets uh, outside of the machining envelope uh, the machine just keeps going in the background and certainly our set operators have found uh, keeping the machines going easy uh, was it easy for your operators to pick up were they were they uh, apprehensive about going uh, down the automation road not at all the, the all of our engineers here love new toys and new things to play with and um, certainly it's a big point, uh, positive point for the business when we are interviewing staff, when they see the investment in automation that we've made here. Uh, when you look at the Matsura machines, they're very proud of, of how the machines are made, they're hand scraped, hand built machines in Japan. Does that shine through here for you? I think the build quality is excellent and you can see that partly by the amount of time it takes to install them. Now, we had engineers here for several weeks to make sure that everything was, was running correctly and smoothly, um, lots of test cuts, and also the training is excellent. There was a, a lot of training offered with the machines to make sure that we were comfortable with operating them. And how pleasing is it to come in, in the morning or to go home at night, load and having loaded 10 parts and coming in the morning and they've all been machined perfectly, uh, precisely, uh, and you know, with great surface finishes? As, as the boss of a company, that's, that's great. You, know, you want to see parts being made, machines sitting idle or waiting for operators to arrive and load billets is, is, is soul destroying when we know that there's a big run to do, so it's excellent. And is this the biggest, uh, the biggest statement Abbey Precision has made since you took ownership all those years ago? Definitely, 
the investment in these two machines.